to stop sensationalizing this these negative videos and these people that are creating all this negativity because we're the ones that are making it cool. I've been debating whether or not to make this video or not. I know when I make these types of videos and I try to explain myself, people just see me as the bad guy no matter what. No matter what I do, no matter what I prove, no matter what I say, I have played the online villain for such a long time it's kind of hard for anyone to see any good in me. So it's like, no matter whatever I'm engaged with, uh, whether it be a debate or a conversation, you know, people want to see me lose and I lose no matter what. But I technically win no matter It doesn't matter. All right. The point is, is that I feel like I've been used. All right. I feel like I've been used. And I feel like my viewers have been used. I feel like there's manipulation and just flat out lies going on. I feel like people are being fake. And I feel like one of these people is Matthew Santoro. And I know some of you guys love him and that's absolutely fine. I liked the guy up until yesterday. Yesterday he starts posting on Twitter that there's a problem with YouTube that these drama channels are cancerous and he starts saying all this stuff and I'm sitting here and I'm like what the fuck is going on like for those of you that have been fans of me and have been subscribed here for quite some time you know that during the Nicole Arbor situation all right we uploaded tons of videos in support of Matthew Santoro when there was a situation, right, where the community didn't know what was the truth and what wasn't the truth, we were here to fact check it. You know, there was a situation where Nicole Arbor was talking about having some lie detector with Matt, and then we found a tweet, all right, where, you know, she said that she passed a lie detector in the past, and we, we put that information out, right? We helped Matt, but not only that, Matt literally used Drum Alert to get a story about his abuse out there. He sent his f friend, good friend, Robert Dyke, to come on this show to get the news out that Nicole Arbor was an abuser. So I have this guy who we've defended and who we've helped out. But not only that, I have this guy that has used us as a media outlet to get this story out against his ex-girlfriend. I have him saying that my channel is cancerous when we were there to help him. And I just, I'm hurt. Like, I feel you. Like, how fake is that? He uploads a video, and he's calling out Drommler channels and saying that it's horrible, and he says something like, there's no channels that report the good news. Matt, that's fake. You're sitting here complaining about channels that don't report the good news. Do you not have an ability to make a channel to report the good news? Like you can talk a good game. You can act like this really good guy, but in reality, it's fake, all right? The, the whole premise of you making this video and involving yourself in this situation was so you could appear to be the good guy. And so you could put your two cents in to get 20 cents back. But you're fake. Towards the end of the video, he says something along the lines of YouTube is for creators. And we're supposed to be creating. When this dude made a whole fucking empire of 5 million subscribers based on stealing other people's work. There's Reddit posts where he has stolen things that were written out word for word without crediting anyone. I mean, here's an example right here. During World War I, Allied soldiers would fire thousands of rounds at random over the German trenches to boil the coolant water in their machine guns so that they could make tea. Like, I just don't get it. I understand, Matt, that you, you, you were trying to make some calculated move and you're like, okay, let me get into this conversation so I can get views, all right? So my video can go viral, so I can be seen as the good guy trying to do good. But 
you forgot. You forgot, Matt. Like, you should have known that we're about the truth and we're about reporting what's going on. And if you're going to make these claims that we are the bad guy, I'm going to upload a video like this just calling you out on your bullshit. Dude, you used us. You used me. You used my subscribers. You used us for sympathy. Just to then, months later, when you no longer needed us, bash on us. You fucking... You're fake, dude. You're absolutely 100% fake. You can't say that your YouTube is about creating and you're a creator when you steal other people's stuff and you don't credit them. Dude, you, you fucking... You hurt my feelings, dude. We had your fucking back. And as soon as you saw an opportunity to throw us under the bus to make you look like a good guy, you took it. I really, really, really hope and pray that the people that support you someday figure out how fake you are. I'm disappointed. It's up to us to stop sensationalizing this, these negative videos and these people that are creating all this negativity because we're the ones that are making it cool.